this movie, we're going to take a look at mirroring weights. So we've bound our geometry to our skeleton, and then we went in and painted some of the weights on our character's leg. Essentially, we removed the influences from some of these vertices right in this area, and we also removed the influence the upper leg was having on the rest of the body. If we take a look back into our Paint Skin Weights tool, I'm just going to open this up, and I'll double click this icon right here, which is my last tool used, just to open up those options. You can see, too, Maya remembers the settings that I had prior to me closing the tool. And this is kind of nice, but in this case, I do need to click the thumbtack to expose the rest of the hierarchy again, because what I want to look at is the right leg and just see how different it is from the left. So let's grab the right and the left here, and we'll keep that color map on so that we can see those extremely low values on the right leg. There's my left, that's the one we've painted and cleaned up, and there's my right, the untouched leg. What I want to do is mirror the changes that I made on this side of the body over to the right side of the body. Prior to doing this, we want to make sure that my character is in its default pose, or its bind pose. And you can see that right there, I have an output saying bind pose. You want to do this because Maya remembers the position that the skeleton was bound in. So if I try to do my mirror skin weights when he's not in their original position, the skin weights are going to get really messed up and it's not going to know where it's actually grabbing it from. If we go to Skin, we can then choose Go to Bind Pose. And you can see that it then shifted my character back into its original bounding position. This is perfect. Now I know I'm in that position, and now I can do a successful mirror weights. I'll select the geometry, go to Skin, and we'll open the options for mirror skin weights. Let's close that window there. Anytime we're mirroring, we need to know the axis that we want to mirror across. This is giving us two axes to choose from. And let's make sure that we're using our default settings here. We are. So what we're looking at is we want to take the crow's left side over to the crow's right side, which is going to be across the YZ plane. And you can see by default, Maya chooses this for us. Next is the direction. Which direction do you want to have the positive X or the negative X to mirror across? Here's my positive X. That's going to be my left side. So positive X over to the negative X. This is set up perfectly. The surface association, we're going to do closest point on surface. Raycast and closest component are effective as well but they kind of work a little bit better when we don't have such perfectly symmetrical geometry. So we have symmetrical geometry. We're going to go with closest point on surface. And this is also true if your skeleton is not perfectly symmetrical. You might end up trying the other two here. Influence association one, we just want it to be closest joint. If you're building your model with symmetrical geometry and a symmetrical skeleton, this is all you're going to need. Your defaults here work incredibly well, and in fact, switching them kind of messes things up. So there's no need to even pursue a second association. And that's basically just a backup. But adding a backup here when you already have the perfect thing just messes things up. That last option there is normalize, which will make sure that the values stay between 0 and 1. Our model is already normalized, so there's no reason to turn that on. And we'll choose mirror. We could grab the joint and rotate it. It definitely did something. But the true way to check is we're going to go back and look at those values. And you can see the left leg mirrored over, but it did cause a little bit of bleeding there. And the right leg didn't get rid of all of the weights entirely. So the mirror tool does work pretty well, not 100% in some cases. This is giving us such a hard time here because we're so close to the center line. So some of those weights are going to bleed across because they exist on both sides. We've got a little bit of weight from the left and a little bit of weight from the right, and that just kind of causes some issues right along that center line. 
if we were just focusing on the wings over here, mirroring over to here, we wouldn't have these issues. But this is a quick fix. I'm just going to go to right leg, choose my solid brush with a zero value. I'll just paint that out. Problem solved there. And then we'll switch over to the left and paint those out as well. And just a little bit there on the back. And one more right there. Now we have a nice mirror cleaned up. Now I do have that one right there. I kind of want that one to share just a little bit, so I'm not too worried about the bleeding that's happening right there along that center line. We'll select our right leg and rotate that. That looks good. And the left leg, that looks good too.